Hi, I'm Kelsey with Alive Fitness and Wellness. Today on Motivation on Monday, I wanted to discuss where you are right this moment and how you can look to the future. And also, I encourage you to look back and see how far you've come. I know a lot of people, when you are on a fitness journey, when you're on a new health kick, or even when you're going to school to better educate yourself, you're only looking forward. And that's great. I want you to look forward. I want you to see new horizons, new goals. I want you to reach new limits and push past old limits. I want you to go further and further and further. But what I also desire is that you take a step and give yourself the space to look back. And here we're not falling back. It's not that you're going two steps forward, one step back. It's that you're giving yourself that space, that time, and that energy to reflect on how far you have come. So every time when I'm talking to fitness clients, nutrition, wellness clients, and I'm saying honor where you are, it's because today is the only day that you will be at this moment. So honor that, enjoy it, and know that everything you do in the next few hours is going to make you stronger for tomorrow. Everything that you choose and everything that you do today will make you stronger for tomorrow. And this is where we look forward. But if you are going 100 miles a minute and you don't look back for three, four, five, ten 10 years, you will never value the whole journey. You will never see how far you have come. You will never show gratitude to yourself for pushing yourself further and further. What's going to happen is you leave yourself susceptible to being burnt out, feeling exhausted, playing the should be games and playing I'm never enough games. And I don't want that for you. What I want for you is to see that now you can do four push-ups. Two weeks ago, I could do two push-ups. Now I can do four and celebrate that. What I want to see is that tomorrow you make a game plan to do a full 5K run all out with your heart and you do it, right? Compared to three months ago where you were running one kilometer and proud, right? I want you to move forward, but then to also give your time yourself that space that time that energy to reflect on how far you have come it's just like children so when children are excited um, and are trying something new they tend to do more upon gratitude and excitement right if you were to downplay a newborn or a toddler trying to walk and you're like oh yeah cool keep going keep going, keep going, right? They're going to get exhausted. They're not going to want to walk anymore. But of course, they're mom and dad. Yay, you're doing it. Keep going. So excited, right? So that toddler wants to move forward. They're excited. They know that they're supported and they have a cheer squad happening for them. They're excited. They want to do it more and more. It's the same with you, either in your 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s or 60s. You want to have that gratification. You want to have that celebration. And if no one else is going to do it, it is up to you. And you are at the root of your happiness and your well-being and feeling alive. It is you. So giving yourself that time, that space, that energy to stop and reflect where you are, you're also being that cheerleader for yourself and moving forward. All right. So on this Motivational Monday, I'd love for you to sit back, reflect on how far you've come in everything, your personal and professional life, your body, mind, and spiritual health, every little bit. How far have you come? What have been the struggles and what have you overcome? And how great did that feel when you did overcome it? Because that is going to give you the tools to overcome the next obstacle. So again, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.